A client of mine asked about calculating the perimeter of a flattened object because they charge the per inch when they're doing the laser cutting. So I've come up with a couple of methods that uh, are usable. Uh, first, you unfold your part, go to the annotation tab and click on measurement. Now you have a couple options here, but I want to go through one first. You pick this here where it says curve measurement. So you pick that button, make sure it's highlighted click on an edge, hold the shift key down, and then go around and calculate and then pick the other edges that you want to calculate the perimeter for. Now this particular method allows you to exclude cutouts. If there are cutouts in the center that you don't want to use as part of your measurement, it allows you to do it. But if you want to include those, you just continue clicking and the measurement of 79.204 comes up in the curve length over on the left. So that's that's one method. Another method is to, again, click the annotation tab, go to measurement, and this time, instead of picking the curved measurement, come over here and pick the smart measurement. And what that allows you to do is to pick geometry, which means you just pick the face. And then down here, it calculates the perimeter as 79.204. So those are the two methods that are uh, use, usable for calculating the perimeter. And the second method, it includes all of the cutouts. Um, so if you do want to exclude the cutouts, you would use the first method. Hope that helps people out there. Thank you.